Hello everyone and welcome once again. In this video, we are going to continue with the chapter The Lost Child written by Mulk Raj Anand. Once again, before we start, we are going to have a quick recapitulation of what we have done in the previous class. So, then the child saw the roundabout swing which was full of men, women and children enjoying the ride in whirling motion. The boy motivated by the enjoying people on the roundabout expressed his desire to go for a ride on the roundabout. Yet again, when his parents did not reply, he turned towards them and saw that they were nowhere around. He looked everywhere around and behind but his parents were nowhere to be seen. The boy cried his heart out and ran here and there calling out for his parents. He was completely fear stricken and tears started rolling down his cheeks. As he wept and ran around, his yellow turban came untied and his clothes became muddy. And then after some instants, he gave up. The loud weeping of the child turned into mild sobs. He saw few people standing and talking and laughing. He tried hard to find whether or not his parents were among them. The laughter and talks of the people were worthless for the child. He was simply searching for his parents. The boy ran towards a temple which was too crowded with people. He ran through the legs of the people calling out for his parents. The crowd was pushing each other as he neared at the opening of the temple. The boy got scared of some sturdy men who stared people with their murderous eyes and took advantage by pushing them with their strong and big shoulders. The boy could have been crushed under the feet of the people if his shrieks had not been heard by a man in the crowd. He lifted the child in his arms stooping down with great difficulty. So let us now begin with the chapter. How did you get here, child? Whose baby are you? The man asked as he steered clear of the mass. The child wept more bitterly than ever now and only cried. I want my mother. I want my father. The man tried to soothe him by taking him to the roundabout. Will you have a ride on the horse? He gently asked as he approached the ring. The child's throat tore into a thousand shrill sobs and he only shouted, I want my mother, I want my father. The man headed towards the place where the snake charmer still played on the flute to the swaying cobra. Listen to that nice music, child, he pleaded, but the child shut his ears with his fingers and shouted his double-pitched strain. I want my mother, I want my father. The man took him near the balloons, thinking the bright colors of the balloons would distract the child's attention and quieten him. Would you like a rainbow-colored balloon? He persuasively asked. The child turned his eyes from the flying balloons and just sobbed. I want my mother, I want my father. And now the explanation. So, the moment the man took the child out of the crowd, he asked him how he had reached there. He asked the child the names of his parents. The boy cried even more and kept repeating that he wanted to go to his parents. The man tried to calm down the child by taking him to the roundabout swing. He offered him a ride, but the child shrieked and wept loudly that he wanted his parents back. The man started walking back on the same path which the child had taken. Thus, he took the child to the snake charmer. He asked him to listen to the nice music being played by the snake charmer. The child shut his ears with his fingers and screamed loudly that the only thing he wanted was his parents. The man took the child to the bright colored balloons hoping that he might become happy and joyful by seeing them. He offered a balloon to the child, but 
he turned away and wept for his mother and father. So now we come to the concluding part of the text. The man, still trying to make the child happy, bore him to the gate where the flower seller sat. Look, can you smell those nice flowers, child? Would you like a garland to put around your neck? The child turned his nose away from the basket and reiterated his sob. I want my mother. I want my father. Thinking to humor his disconsolate charge by a gift of sweets, the man took him to the counter of the sweet shop. What sweets would you like, child? He asked. The child turned his face from the sweet shop and only sobbed. I want my mother. I want my father. And now the explanation of the concluding part of the text. The man tried to make the child happy and took him to the flower cellar to which he was earlier attracted when he was there with his parents. He asked him to smell the fragrance of the flowers and offered him a garland. The child refused to even smell the flowers that he wanted to buy earlier because now his priority was to get his parents. And lastly, the man took him to the sweet meat seller and offered to buy some sweets for him. But the child did not want his favorite sweet anymore. The only thing that he wanted was his parents. With this, we come to an ex you know, end to uh, the explanation of the text. Well, it's time now for the new words that we have encountered in the concluding part of the text. The first word that we find is soothe, which means to relax or to comfort. Next, we have pleaded, meaning requested. Then we have double pitched strain, which means the usage of a lot of force or to use a lot of force. Then we have bore which means carried is the past tense of bear and then we have a reiterated meaning repeated the child repeated his sob all right then we have disconsolate meaning very unhappy and unable to be comforted and the next we have word is charge which means a person or thing entrusted to the care of someone and the last word is fragrance uh, as we all know it is a good smell and now it's time for the quick notes of the concluding part of the chapter the man took the child out of the crowd and asked him how he had reached there he asked the child the names of his parents the boy cried even more and kept repeating that he wanted to get back to his parents the man tried to calm down the child by taking him to the roundabout swing. He offered him a ride, but the child shrieked and wept loudly for his parents to come back. The man took the child to the snake charmer. He asked him to listen to the nice music being played by the snake charmer. The child shut his ears with his fingers and screamed loudly that the only thing he wanted was his parents. The man took the child to the bright colored balloons hoping that he might become happy and joyful by seeing them. He offered a balloon to the child, but he turned away and wept for his mother and father. The man tried to make the child happy and took him to the flower cellar. He was earlier attracted to the flowers when he was there with his parents. He asked him to smell the fragrance of the flowers and offered him a garland. The child refused to even smell the flowers that he wanted to buy earlier because now his priority was to get his parents. Lastly, the man took him to the sweet meat seller and offered to buy some sweets for him. But the child did not want his favorite sweet anymore. The only thing that he wanted was his parents, which he kept on repeating for.
Well, with this we come to an end of the story The Lost Child written by Mulkraj Anand. I hope you have understood and enjoyed the story. In the next video we shall discuss the detailed summary and the NCRT questions along with its answers. Till then don't forget to subscribe the channel and ring the bell icon. Thank you.